top story tonight, the state's special session on public safety, now on day six. Tension remains high in the General Assembly, that is for sure. You're looking at a live feed right now from the House floor. Uh, members of the House and Senate discussing bills they sent to the floor last week. State Capitol reporter Chris O'Brien spoke with both sides of this stalemate and the families stuck in the middle, still pushing for change. The Tennessee Cold War continues. Late last week, the House Republican Caucus went on the offensive, blaming Senate Republicans for the impasse. Oh, we're not upset they're not listening to us. We're just upset that they refuse to do anything. They want to do nothing. We're not telling them they have to. It's just interesting that they would rather do nothing than something. But the Senate is holding firm. Leadership indicated to me today they'd be willing to keep this stalemate until January. Most legislators did not want to be here for a special called session. Many legislators, including myself, felt like that all of these issues could have been handled uh, in a regular session that would start in January. Caught in the middle of the stalemate are the stakeholders. Today, the Covenant Parents nonprofits expressed their frustration with how special session has gone down thus far. We are now caught in the middle of a cold war between the House and the Senate at the cost of our family's dignity. As we stand here today, we see that many of our elected leaders, particularly in the Senate, have done nothing other than prove they are incapable of the job they have been called to do. And publicly absent the past seven days has been Governor Bill Lee, who today says he's been at the Capitol every day working behind the scenes. It's a process in the General Assembly. We find that with every session. And frequently we find ourselves in the situation where there are differences to resolve. Uh, that's where we are right now, but uh, I think that'll happen, and we'll see the full outcome, but this conversation's important. Just a bit earlier today, the Senate gaveled in and then immediately gaveled back out, while the House continues to take up legislation. In Nashville, Chris O'Brien. All right, Chris, thank you. Meanwhile, tonight we are waiting for a judge to make a decision regarding the House majority rule that restricted the use of signs and committee meetings during the special session. You may remember last week, parents from the Covenant School were removed from committee meetings after being asked to stop holding up signs asking for gun reform. Then the ACLU sued and a judge temporarily blocked the ban. Today, the judge listened to both sides in a packed courtroom. How you regulate speech really does come down to the details. Um, and, and if the purpose of the forum is to limit disruption and to preserve the dignity, then sure, uh, ostensibly you could see a regulation that uh, could put a, a, a size limitation or uh, limit, uh, eliminate things that make noises or, or flash lights. Um, I, we're not arguing, you know, this is a very narrow request that we're asking, which is that the signs should not be banned. A signs plus regulation that started regulating uh, offensive language on signs or... Who's, who's the, yeah, how do we evaluate that? I, exactly. It, it starts to raise constitutional questions about viewpoint discrimination, content discrimination. And so in light of that, again, it's reasonable for the House to make the determination. Again, we're still waiting for a decision tonight. We'll let you know when a ruling is made. Meanwhile, one of the so-called Tennessee Three, Nashville Representative Justin Jones, is calling for a no-confidence vote for House Speaker Cameron Sexton. In the letter, Jones is accusing the House Speaker of, quote, misrepresenting his residency and defrauding Tennessee taxpayers by benefiting from taxes based off of his Nashville address while representing Crossville. The letter also goes on to say Sexton mischaracterized peaceful protesters as insurrectionists during protests in late March.